We can use our TI-83 or 84 calculator to do the chi-square goodness of fit test, but not all TI-83 and TI-84 calculators come with a pre-programmed chi-square goodness of fit test. To see if your calculator has this pre-programmed test, you can go to stat and then scroll twice to the right to test and then go up and see if chi-squared GOF test is listed like it's listed here as option D. It should be option D in your test list if you have it. If you don't have it, don't worry. We're going to, right now, write a program for our calculator to do the chi-square goodness of fit test for us from scratch. So second quit to get back to home. To write a program, we will go to program PRGM. We will scroll to new and we will press enter. We're going to name our program Chi GOF and right now the alpha is flashing so that means our alpha is locked so we'll just choose the green keys C H I and then G O F enter and now we'll want to enter our program. The first step of the program takes our list and subtracts them so this is essentially, we're going to put our observed values in L1 and our expected values in L2. This is essentially doing O minus E squared divided by E, and that's going to do it for us and store it in a different list. And then we're going to sum that list and store it as C or our chi-squared value. So open parenthesis twice, L1, that's going to be second one, subtract L2 second two close parenthesis squared divided by L2 close parenthesis store L3 second three. Now we want to sum L3 and anytime we don't know where a function is we can find it in the catalog. Second zero is a catalog of every single function that we have since sum is at the end of the S's, we could scroll down to the S's, but then we would be scrolling a while still through all of the S's, and so we'll just go down to T, and so hit T, and then we'll scroll up one, and there's sum, enter, and then L3, second, three, and then close parenthesis, and store as C, alpha, C. Now we want to do dimension, and again, we'll go to catalog to find that. Second zero, and then D for dimension. Scroll down until we find dimension. Press enter. L2, second two, close parenthesis, minus one, store as D for dimension, alpha D. Enter. Now we want to do a series of displays. To find the display function, we go under Program, Input, Output, and Option 3. And we want to put this in quotes, so I'm going to alpha lock, quote, and then I'm going to type in chi-square, and then space. My equals, again, is going to be under catalog, so I'm going to do second, and zero, and this time all of my symbols are at the very bottom of the catalog, so I'm going to scroll up from the bottom until I find the equal sign. And I'm going to select the equal sign and press enter, and close my quote, enter, display will be program, input, output, and option three. I want to display C since C is my chi-square, and now display DF in quotes. And again, second zero in quotes. Display D. Now we want to do a chi-squared CDF and that's found under second DISDR and it's option 8, so we'll enter 8 chi-squared CDF, open parenthesis, and we will do alpha C, comma, 
9999, comma, alpha D, close parenthesis, store, alpha P. Enter. Now we want to display alpha P dash. Now I'm going to alpha lock value. Space equal second zero. Close the quote. Enter. Display P. And now I want to stop the program because it's the end of the program. Program and scrolling up from the bottom, select stop, press enter. And now I'm done second quit. I've written my program and I'm done with writing the program. Now I actually want to use the program. Now that I've written my program, it can be stored in my calculator forever unless I erase the memory, which I wouldn't recommend doing, and I can use this program anytime I want. To use the program, I need to take a set of goodness of fit data, and my data here is from keymacros.com and it is a single die and the die is tossed 120 times and we've recorded what side the die has landed on and these are how often it's landed on each side. We would expect for a fair die it to land on each side the exact same number of times because everyone has equal probability so the frequency should be the same and those are our expected values here Note that this is the expected frequency and the observed frequency, and so our total frequencies should match on the observed and the expected values. So to do this test on our calculator, we're first going to put the observed values into L1 and then the expected values into L2, and we can get to the list by doing stat edit. We'll enter the observed values into L1. And then we'll scroll to the right and enter our expected values into L2. 20, enter, 20, enter. Now that we've finished entering our data into the list, we'll do second quit to go back to the main screen. From the main screen, we'll press Program and then select our Chi GOF and we'll press Enter this runs our program, it tells us that for this data set our chi-square value is 27.5. Our degrees of freedom will be 5 and that makes sense since we have 6 data values. And then our p-value is 4.56 if we round times 10 to the negative fifth which is an extremely small p-value and in that case we would reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. So this seems like it may be a lot of work, but remember we only have to write the program once and then we can use that program over and over and over every single time we want to do the chi-squared test.